Hi, it's another great morning in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. I'm on the 12th fairway of our South Golf Course. And intermixed with our Canada Goose here, we have these very special visitors to Cota de Casa. They're very rare for us. And this is a greater white-fronted goose, also known as a Pacific white-fronted goose, or sometimes it's called a greater white front. So his scientific name is Anser albifrons, subspecies sponsa. He used to be referred to as a subspecies frontalis, or gambolai, but now he has his own subspecies. And he gets his name white-fronted goose from the patch of white feathers that surrounds his bill. In fact, his species albifrons, it comes from the Latin word albus, which means white, and frons, which means forehead. So literally, he's the goose with the white forehead. You can also recognize him by his yellowish, pinkish bill and his bright orange legs and feet. Now the adults, they also have salt and pepper markings on their breasts. So sometimes people even refer to this bird as a speckle belly. So the world's greater white-fronted goose population spends spring and summer up in the far north from Alaska, interior and Arctic Canada, Greenland, Northern Europe, and even Russian Siberia. And there's five subspecies of this goose, depending on where they live. The Europe and Siberian species, Anser albifrons albifrons, it migrates south to the lower regions of Europe and Asia. The Greenland species, Flavorostris, he spends his winters in Ireland and Scotland. The interior Canada species, Gambolai or Frontalis, he heads down through central United States to the Gulf of Mexico. There's also a very small population of about 10,000 birds in southern Alaska called Elgisai, or Tool, and they winter in Northern California. And our subspecies here is called Anser albifrons sponsa, or the Pacific white-fronted goose. So overall, there's about 500 to 600,000 of our Pacific geese. They spend their spring and summer breeding in Northern Alaska. Then in September, they migrate down the Pacific flyway. They stop and rest in Southern Oregon and Northern California. And finally, most of them make their way to California's Central Valley and around Sacramento. But in addition to all these geese, about 10 to 20,000, they continue to find their way down to Mexico. And that's who we have here visiting Cota de Casa this month. So our little population of six of these guys, they're probably just resting and fattening up for the rest of their journey south to Mexico. Or for all I know, they might just decide to spend the whole winter with us. Wow. That is very cool. So I hope you enjoyed the story of our Pacific white-fronted goose. Thanks for watching. Bye.